Well, second grade, hip hip array. Let's learn about arrays. We're going to start by writing our I can statement in our math journal. Turn to the next clean page. Start with your title, arrays. Your I can statement is, I can find the total number of objects in an array by using addition. I can then write an equation to show how I found the total. We'll pause here so you can finish writing your I can statement. So a big part of arrays is understanding repeated addition. So what is repeated addition? Repeated addition is just adding the same number or add in over and over. Like this example, we have three rows with four in each row. So we're adding the number three four times. Three plus three plus three plus three. Count by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve. Let's pause here and write this example in our math journal. Groups and arrays are very useful and important in helping you solve repeated addition or multiplication problems. Groups. Multiplication shows the total number of items in a certain number of groups. Look at the example given under groups. You will see a multiplication sentence. In that multiplication sentence, the first number represents the number of groups. The next number represents how many in each group. We will use this with our repeated addition and also multiplication sentences to help us find the total of each example. Arrays. Arrays can be used to help solve multiplication problems. Look at the number sentence or equation given with the example of the array. The first number represents the rows in an array. The next number represents how many columns are in the array. When creating an array, use the number, the first number, to represent the rows and the second number to represent the columns. We're going to pause here so we can further discuss and write about this in our math journal. Let's work together to practice what we've just learned. We're going to use our repeated addition, our groups, and arrays to help us solve a couple problems. Let's look at this story problem. There were three spiders on the playground. Each spider made three webs. How many spider webs in all? Let's pause here, discuss this more, and demonstrate it together as a class. So does this make the array that's similar to what we came up with as a class? Let's look at it one more time, review our repeated addition sentences, also review our multiplication sentences and the groups we came up with, and then let's try another one. Now let's try this problem that's in your math journal. This story problem says, there were four flowers with three bees on each flower. How many bees in all? Let's see if we can discuss this problem, understand what it's asking us to find, show our groups, create an array, create two repeated addition sentences, and also a multiplication sentence. Let's look at this array. Does it demonstrate what the problem is asking? From what we reviewed, is it showing what we discussed? Quickly, you're looking at this array. Let's review our repeated addition sentences and multiplication sentences that we came up with. What about this problem? Isabella went to the park. She saw two butterflies on each of five trees. How many butterflies did she see? Let's stop and discuss this problem. What is it really looking for? Let's create our groups. Let's create an array. Let's create two repeated addition sentences and also a multiplication sentence to match. Look at the array created here. Does it match what we discuss? Using this demonstration, let's quickly review our repeated addition sentences to make sure it matches and also our multiplication sentence that we came up with together. 
This last one I'll allow you to do independently or with your group first and then we'll discuss it together. It states, Liam found four ladybugs on each of four branches. How many ladybugs did he find in all? I want you to think about what it's asking you to do. Create your groups. Create an array. Two repeated addition sentences from your demonstration and also a multiplication sentence. And then from there, we'll share and see if we got the same examples. For this final problem that we have done together, look at the array demonstration. Does it match what you discussed and what you created? Does it match what we created? Let's quickly review our repeated addition sentences and multiplication sentence to match the demonstration. Now it's time to work in your group to practice exactly what we have been doing together. Each group will receive a paper. On the paper, there will be three examples of arrays. With your paper, you need to give two repeated addition sentences, a multiplication sentence, and also draw groups to demonstrate what is being shown on the pictures. When you're finished, we will all review and you will share with your group what your findings were. All right, look at each of these images. You're going to receive one of these, and in the end, we will practice and review together. All right, class, wonderful job. Can't wait to see what you come up with. All right, it's presentation time. Great job, second grade. I know you did an outstanding job with those arrays. Now make sure to share what you know with a neighbor, friend, or even with your parents. Teach them what you've learned. Super duper job.